Hal officials have said that the Hindustan lead in fighter trainer that will be unveiled at the Aero India 2023 will not need clearance by cabinet committee on security and will not be dependent on the Ministry of Defence for project funding. It will be internally funded by Hindustan Aeronautics that will allow the program to be in the fast lane. Hal has briefed the Indian Air Force and it is fully on board this next generation supersonic trainer program but will only commit orders when it is cleared after user come developmental flights the HLFT42 program will utilize the present ecosystem of the Tejas light combat aircraft and will be ready in 3 years hal has dropped plans for the Tejas lift variant as it would be an expensive lead in fighter trainer due to the high usage of carbon composites while the hindustan lead in fighter trainer will be much cheaper due to all metal construction and will come with an attractive price tag so that it can be competitive in the export market mazagin dock ship builders is developing a mine reconnaissance autonomous underwater vehicle which will be an autonomous device driven through water by a propulsion system and will be piloted by an internal computer with an option of remote piloting and will detect and accurately locate sea mines through a systematic autonomous survey of an area of interest using bottom mapping synthetic aperture sonar and after surfacing the MRAUV will pass its position to shore or ship based control station The MRAV will feature high maneuverability in 3 dimensions, high hydrodynamic stability, very low acoustic noise, and will be made using non-corrosive materials. Godrej Aerospace has announced that it has bagged an order to build turbo engines in partnership with the gas turbine research engine center at the DRDO lab. The company has an order for 8 modules of 6 engines and the plan is to finish the first round of development by early 2024 while the remaining modules would be delivered in a 30 month time frame. The business head of Godrej Aerospace has said that the development engine is a cavalry derivative that will be used to power one of the aircraft and this is for the first time that modules of engines of this class are being manufactured indigenously by an Indian private sector company. India and US had been jointly developing an air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle in 2021 and as per latest information the first flight of the prototype will take place by the end of this year during which it will be launched and recovered from C130J Super Hercules India and US will share joint intellectual property rights for the air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle so that both countries can develop future variants without needing each other's permission India and US are also finalizing two more projects that includes counter drone systems and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance platform. The Indian Navy has decided that the engines of its MiG 29K fighter jets will now be maintained using artificial intelligence. The health usage and monitoring system will use artificial intelligence to reduce the time required for analyzing the data, resulting in faster aircraft turnaround. and better preventive maintenance projections the rd33 mk engines are locally manufactured in india by hindustan aeronautics but even with improvements and changes over last few decades it still has high rate of failures that results in higher downtime of the aircraft After the recent joint air combat exercise between the air forces of India and Japan, the armies of the two countries are all set to conduct the fourth edition of the Dharma Guardian exercise from 17th February to 2nd March. The exercise will be held in Japan for the first time, while the previous three editions were all hosted by India. The bilateral exercise will focus on counter-terror tactics and a range of combat exercises and training. Oh, Mark, drop it.